Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we're here vloggy style. We're actually in my bathroom, so a little bit of a different setting uh, because we're going to be doing my body hair and skincare collection and declutter. I'm gonna see my mom soon and that's why I've been doing all these declutters. Uh, I'd like to give her and my sisters and anybody that's down there the choice if they want anything that I declutter, um, if I'm no longer using it and someone else can get better use. So we're gonna be um, switching over so you guys have a better view. I have some of my skincare here. Some of it is in that little Ikea storage unit. I'm gonna be moving it all over there so that we can do it all together. But yeah, I hope that you enjoy. I'm not sure, it's probably gonna take a while. It's gonna be a long one. So if you wanna drink, go ahead and grab that. But let's jump into it. All right, here we are. <laughs> this, um, we're gonna start off with this basket. As you guys saw, I usually keep it on top of my uh, counter space over there. So this is stuff that I use pretty frequently. So I'm probably not gonna ri get rid of anything from in here, I don't think so. But we can go ahead through it really quickly so you can see. So first right here is this Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I probably have like, it's down to here approximately. I don't have a lot left of it. This has been okay. Um, I was really excited to try it out because I've heard so many people rave about it. Um, I know specifically Jackie Ina is someone I saw talk about it a lot, but it was fine. Um, I also have dry skin, so I think it just wasn't super hydrating, but it I don't know. It just wasn't anything special, I guess. That's all I can really say about that. It was fine for the price. I'm definitely not repurchasing it, but it hasn't been a chore using it up or anything like that. I also don't love the scent. I don't know. I guess it's maybe like a cucumbery kind of fresh scent, but it's not my favorite. That's not important, but just something to note. All right. The next thing is this Skin & Co. Polishing Micro Exfoliating Truffle Face Gourmage, or whatever. <laughs> it's basically a uh, physical exfoliator. Um, it's nice, you know, as far as, as far as like physical exfoliators go. I use this one from time to time, so it's actually still pretty full. I probably have up to here, um, probably more up to here, uh, but it's been fine. I will use it up. Will I repurchase it? Probably not, but it's okay. If you're looking for one, it doesn't hurt, like it doesn't strip my skin. Um, it doesn't really leave it feeling extra sensitive or anything, but I know that a lot of people don't really like uh, physical exfoliators, so. Uh, this is actually not skincare, this is hair care. This is the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk. Scalp and hair treatment oil. I've only been using it for about a week now, so I don't have a ton of thoughts on it, but so far it's been nice. I've been enjoying it. It's a very thin oil. It doesn't feel like heavy or anything, um, but I just found that my scalp needed some more love, so I went ahead and ordered it. Let me get these things out of the way. Um, I have some more of these, they'll probably come up again. This is a reusable cotton round. This is from Garnier. I really love these so that, um, you know, for <laughs> with my cellar water, uh, all that kind of stuff, so I don't have to keep purchasing um, reusable, like re disposable cotton rounds. I'm sorry, apparently I can't talk today. Um, <laughs> but this is also kind of like that sort of, uh, what are they called? The makeup eraser is that sort of a thing. A makeup removing microfiber cloth. Um, I bought it because I didn't want to keep using wipes. They're really convenient, easy to wash. I love them. Um, I think these particular ones are from 
the, what are they called? The Vintage Company or something like that. They're on, on Ulta. I really like them. I've had them for about uh, a year now and they've lasted really well through washes. All right. So this is the Dr. Brandt Antioxidant Spray Toner um, with green and white tea extract. Fancy. Uh, as you can see, I'm almost done. I'm using it up. I probably won't repurchase it. Uh, is that a theme so far? Uh, because it's fine. I use toners for the hydration, like the hydrating step, more than anything else. Usually I'll switch between a toner and an essence. Either way, this one was fine, but nothing special. It didn't super hydrate or anything, but it didn't claim to, so it doesn't matter really. Uh, I found that Dr. Brandt products as a whole, the ones that I've tried so far, I've always found them to be fine. Not spectacular, they haven't become my holy grails or anything. So this one was kind of par for the course with that, but I will be using it up obviously, and then trying something else out. On the Dr. Brandt train, uh, this is the Say I Love You with Pride Triple Antioxidant Face Cream. Um, I'm almost done with this too. I've been having to like do that thing where you shake it because it kind of just splutters out. This one, uh, again, <laughs> with a, like with every other Dr. Brandt product, it is fine. Um, it moisturizes just fine. Um, sometimes I find that I need a little bit of extra help, some more uh, hydration steps in order to feel um, that my skin is as nourished as I want it to be. I do have dry skin. Um, it fluctuates between normal to dry and dry. So this one was okay. Won't be repurchasing. Uh, yeah, I hadn't realized <laughs> that apparently a lot of these products, I'm like, eh, until I started doing this. Okay, so this is the um, the Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Press uh, Rose Hip Seed Oil. I only recently got this. I don't know if you can tell, it's still pretty full. Um, so far, so good. I've been mixing it in with that Dr. Brandt. Uh, moisturizer and I won't really know for a while how I feel about this um, I'm always a little iffy when it comes to facial oils I love them but it takes me a while to kind of get a feel for one and see how much I really like it or not especially because a lot of the time I'm mixing it in with moisturizers and stuff so so far so good um, I actually got it because of Taylor Wynn she seems to really love their rosehip oil, and I've had uh, good experiences with rosehip. So we shall wait and see. All right, this is, um, well, this bottle is from the Tarte Micellar Water, uh, whatever it's called, Micellar Magic. Uh, the actual micellar water that comes in this thing is horrible. It stung my face. It stung my eyes. I hated using it. I used it up because I'm stubborn and I hate just wasting product. But I was so happy to be done with it. It's probably the worst micellar water I've ever tried. And I've tried quite a few. Honestly, would never ever repurchase. Uh, please stay away from it. Uh, but I did like the bottle and I love the um, like the pop dispenser, whatever it's called. So I kept the bottle and what's actually in here and I have the big bottle in my other bathroom. Actually, I have a couple products over there. I'm gonna have to get up and get them in a second. But um, what's actually in here is the Garnier Micellar Water, the, the regular one in the pink pop top. And that is one of my favorite micellar waters of all time. So that one is a definite recommend, but this one, the Tarte one, <laughs> uh, stay far, far away from. All right, I'm going to be right back. I'm gonna grab those products. All right, we are back. I um, just had a few different things in our guest bathroom. So I ran over there a little bit out of breath woo, to go get them. Um, 
because sometimes for whatever reason, uh, this bathroom is in our master bedroom and I'm just out there. Maybe uh, my husband is sleeping or something. So I do my skincare out there. So I have some stuff in the other bathroom. So I got them, got my drinks. We went to Kiki's this morning. All good things. All right. Uh, let's do the things I just grabbed actually. This is um, the Kylie Skin what what is it called filming face wash uh so as you can see i'm almost done with it it just has that little bit at the bottom it's if you open it up you see it has the pump it comes out like a foam i'm not gonna lie i feel bad saying it but i have enjoyed using this is it a great cleanser um probably not as far as like ingredients go um, I can imagine it's probably a little bit stripping, but it just comes out this silky foam and I enjoy the experience. Will I repurchase it? Probably not because I have other cleansers that I like and enjoy more. Um, but if it was on sale, maybe. <laughs> I feel bad saying that because um, I've ragged on a lot of her skincare products so much and I haven't been a fan of anything else but this cleanser is actually pretty nice so I've enjoyed it I've enjoyed it more <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get scared for this I've enjoyed it more than the fresh soy cleanser so take that as you will um oh yeah this is the Garnier micellar water I had the actual bottle in the other bathroom we already talked about that okay um this is the organic, yeah, the botanics, um, organic with rosehip hydrating day cream, because apparently I can't read. Um, I'll open it up so you can see. This is how much I have left, so not a lot. It's a pretty thick um, consistency. I've liked it. Uh, this is actually not my favorite from their line. Botanics actually has um, another one that's like the cannabis sativa oil one that comes in like a glass see-through um, jar. That one is actually my favorite from their line. I love it. I do not love the smell. It has a CBD smell. That kind of like asparagus-y, <laughs> kind of like grassy smell. It's not my favorite, um, but the actual product is beautiful. It's really silky, very nourishing and hydrating. This one also hydrates, but it is thick. You have to really work it into the skin. So I probably won't be repurchasing this one, but I will be getting the um, cannabis one. Um, so yeah, I've haven't tried a ton from botanics so far but what i have tried i've liked i think they're a nice line moving on um this is the first aid beauty facial radiance pads um you can see i've used most of them i only have a few left um i enjoy these do are they like revolutionary on my skin no but i also don't i also use them um like not regularly like sporadically uh and that's a problem that i have with a lot of skincare is that i have to kind of get in the habit of using them on a schedule instead of just jumping around through products because i like to try different things and blah 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 either way these are nice i might give them another go because my skin does feel nice after I use them and it does look brighter the next day and when I am using them like a few days in a row. So these are actually nice and um, I have liked pretty much everything that I've tried from First Aid Beauty. Okay, um, <laughs> this is just a brush that I have here that I use to lay down my hair. So we're gonna get that out of the way. Um, okay. One of my most expensive products, um, this is the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow. As you can still see, it's still pretty full. I don't have um, 
conclusive thoughts on this yet because I only recently started using it regularly. I've had it for about six months, eight months or so. And then finally I put it into like my daily basket so that I remember to use it because I don't want it to go bad. Uh, Cause I'm, you know, just kind of airheaded sometimes when I've heard so many great things about this. So uh, stay tuned for future thoughts. But for now, um, so far it feels nice when I use it. That's all I can really say about that. Okay, um, this is just a deodorant. This is the Secret Clean Lavender. I'm probably gonna be switching deodorants. I've used Secret uh, forever, I guess. Um, but it kind of leaves like a residue that is hard to wash off. And I'm finally realized that I could just get a deodorant that doesn't do that. A uh, revolutionary thought, I know. Uh, so I'm probably gonna be switching. I'm gonna try Dove, uh, but anyways, you guys do not care about my deodorant, so we're gonna move on. This is the Derma E uh, Universal Cleansing Balm. You can see. Let's open her up. How much I've used. There you go. This is actually my second second jar of this. Um, it is a nice cleansing balm. It's also pretty inexpensive. So if you're uh, in the market for one, this one actually like is pretty emollient. It doesn't stay. It's never super solid to begin with. Um, I do want to try different ones after I finish this one up. I want to try the pharmacy one. I also want to try the new elf one. That one I've heard really good things about so far. So this one is nice. I can wash it off pretty easily, but I also have a little bit of a weird process <laughs> when it comes to removing my makeup and then washing my face. I'll have to actually do like a nighttime routine so I can show you. Um, so I may not be the biggest judge if all you do is use your um cleansing balm and then you want it to sort of wash off clean i can't tell you if it does that because i do multiple steps after i use my cleansing balm um it can get a little oily like the package that is one thing that i'm not the hugest fan of but for the most part it's a very nice product i would buy it again um this is just my toothpaste um, not that you probably care, but this is the Floramax 5000 sensitive. Um, I just got sent this by my dentist. It is a good, fine <laughs> toothpaste. Um, and then I'll get this out of the way too, cause it's in the basket, but it's not important. It is, um, the ProDen, uh, mouthwash. Not important. So we're moving on. Okay, this is just floss. Um, and this is like an enamel paste to strengthen your enamel. Back to the actual skincare. We're going to be doing this. What is this? The Clean Skin Club Vitamin C Brightening Booster. You can go ahead and let me see. So you can see the consistency of it. It's pretty thick as you can see, but not in a bad way, almost like in a jelly consistency sort of way, which is nice. It feels really nice on the skin when it goes on. I've enjoyed this so far. I've used it, like I said, like a booster. I've added it with other serums and stuff like that. I've also used it on its own a couple of times and it feels nice. Is it revolutionary? No, but I've enjoyed it. Um, will I repurchase it once it's done? No, <laughs> which, uh, again, fits with the theme. Uh, okay. This one is the skin ink, my daily dose serum cocktail. Um, it's funny because it looks like I've used a ton and I guess I have, but if I've only been using it maybe a month or two probably close to two months and 
it's fine. Um, my skin feels nice and I do notice um, some brightening with it, but uh, for the price, there are other things that I enjoy. So that one will get used up and then I'll move on to trying something else. We're almost done with this basket. We have a lot left to go. I'm so sorry. Okay, this is just a little boxy charm uh, paper that I leave here to fan my face when needed. Okay, last few products. This is the pharmacy, what is it called? The Cheer Up Brightening Vitamin C Eye Cream. I used to not be a huge fan of eye creams because I didn't feel like they do anything. And, um,. I have been enjoying this one and I am into eye creams now because I've sort of stopped expecting miracles and have just taken uh, like under eye creams as just being an extra step of hydration for my under eyes, which are usually pretty dry because again, I have dry skin. Uh, and when I started just seeing them as that, I've been enjoying them a lot. This one in particular just has a very nice consistency. You can see I've used quite a bit so far. Um, as a whole, I found that I really, really enjoy pharmacy products. They've All the ones that I've used so far have been top notch. And so I'm going to use this up and probably repurchase it again. Uh, once I get through, you're going to see I have a couple of other eye creams. There will be some decluttering at some point in this. I promise, probably. Okay, um, these are some of the um, styling products I'm using right now. They're both from Curl Smith, the In Shower Style Elixir, which is basically like a really, really firm hold uh, gel. And this is the Curl Conditioner Conditioning in Oil and Cream. Wow, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, yeah, these are the travel sizes or uh, because I've been wanting to try them, but I wasn't sure if I was going to like them or not. They are both very nice. The uh, gel, this one, is super heavy duty. Um, so what I've been doing with this is I got a pixie cut in my hair. It's actually uh, naturally curly. So I've been putting the gel into my hair and then I use, um, here it is, my brush and I just really lay down my hair and then I wrap it in a scarf. And once it holds into a very like slick style, it does not move really. Like I can sleep, once it's set and dry, I can sleep in it and my hair stays the exact same way until I wash it out a few days later. So this, if you need like a nice good hold uh, gel, I would definitely recommend it, especially if you have curly hair. It is nice. And um, this basically leave-in conditioner uh, actually has a good amount of hold as well and it defines curls really well. And when I want um, just kind of like a loose hold, I will use this and it is fairly like moisturizing for my hair. It's not my favorite leave-in conditioner, but it is nice for something that conditions and holds. Cool, so we're almost done here. This is a Vaseline lip treatment or lip therapy advanced healing. Um, I actually really like this. It's nice and thin. It's like Vaseline, but thin. So it really hydrates, but it doesn't feel like thick and cloying on your lips. I always keep a couple of tubes of this around. And now the last thing in this basket is this um, 111 Skin uh, Harley St. London Rose Gold Brightening Facial Treatment mask. <laughs> now it comes uh, with five of these. Uh, we'll go ahead and open it up so you can see they come in these little packs. And um, I've used two of them 
and I really like it. Like they're super hydrating and nourishing and really nice on the skin, but uh, the actual face mask is like that jelly consistency. So they rip a little like easily. You have to be careful when you're putting them on. Besides that and the fact that it comes with a lot of excess serum and it feels that feels like a little bit of a waste. I've tried like putting it down my neck and stuff and there's still some left over. So it's a little excessive. Um, I probably won't buy these again for that reason. I've also found myself liking more um, kind of like multi-use face masks that are in tubs and squeezy tubes and stuff like that over uh, face masks. I kind of, uh, that are like this, like sheet masks and stuff. I kind of go through phases. Sometimes I like one more than the other, but those are nice if you've been interested in checking them out. All right, so we're moving on. I took the basket out as you can see and we've repositioned a little bit. So we're gonna keep going. So the next product we have here is the Glam Glow Berry Glow uh, Recovery Mask, Probiotic Recovery Mask. Take a look. This is what it looks like. Um, not super appealing, <laughs> but uh, I actually really like this. It is super hydrating. At least I find it to be on my skin. What I do is I put it on when I'm going to like take a bath instead of a shower so I can leave it on my face. And my face always feels like super smooth and hydrated afterwards. So I actually love this and it smells super nice. So yeah, and I kind of, this is gonna sound dumb, but I do like the fact that because of the consistency that it has, once it settles, it looks all nice and smooth and new all over again. So this is actually one that I love and I could see myself repurchasing again once I use it up. Okay, next one is, um, I don't even know what this is. The Kiss the Stars 24K Gold Lip Plumping Mask. This is what it looks like. I guess the brand is um, Amen, A-M-N-H Skincare. I don't really know if it'll focus, but yeah. This is what it looks like on the inside. It is actually um, pretty nice. It feels nice, I guess, because I enjoy that kind of like tingly lip plumping effect, like the feel of it on my lips. It isn't too much. It isn't like um, Too Faced lip injection kind of level or anything like that, but um, it is nice. Does it plump my lips? I don't think so, but it leaves them feeling um, smooth, so. That's good enough for me. Next one is the uh, Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow um, Overnight Face Mask. I'm not going to open this up because I haven't actually started using this yet. Um, this is sort of waiting around. I have a different um, sleeping mask that I have open and you're going to see it in a second. So yeah, definitely keeping. Okay. Uh... This is the Dr. Brandt Hydrobiotic Recovery Sleeping Mask. This is actually the one that I am using it. Um, I probably have up to here right now. I'm going to use it up. It is fine. It feels nice on the skin. Um, would I repurchase it? Maybe. Probably not. I would probably just keep trying different sleeping masks because it didn't like wow me, but it is nice. All right, okay. Um, this is actually an empty. I have to put it somewhere else. It's not supposed to be here. It's from Avant. It's um, their face moisturizer. So that is going into my empties pile. This one actually probably should go in there too. Um, it probably has one use left in it. This is the Your Good Skin SPF 30 Antioxidant Day Cream. Um, it's been fine, but it stings my eyes which is not fun, so um, not repurchasing. That'll go into my empties after the next time I use it. Uh, this is the Ulta Beauty Avocado and Kale um, Mud Mask. This is actually nice, 
Um, it probably has like four or five uses in it if you buy it. So for the price, definitely, definitely worth it. I do enjoy this one. It makes my skin just feel soft and hydrated. So I'm gonna use that. I probably have uh, one, maybe two uses and then that'll be in my empties. Okay, um, first thing I'm decluttering because I'm just gonna throw it away. This is uh, Body Mist. This is Fancy by Jessica Simpson. Um, <laughs> it was nice, but I've also had it like eight years or something. Um, and you spray it and it smells nice and it then lasts about 20 minutes or so. And then I can't smell it anymore. I've just had it for too long and I don't really do body mists like this, like body mist perfumes anymore. Um, so yeah, time to get rid of that. I have another one somewhere, a Paris Hilton one. Um, so once I find it, that one will go in the trash too. So first declutter, I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> I've really been sacking, you know what it is? These have been like my more used sections so far. Then we're gonna get into the stuff that are backups or things that I haven't been using, uh, stuff like that. But um, you can see this one here. Uh, you can barely see the writing anymore, but this is a Jouer lip treatment mask and I love it. It's kind of minty, it has that sort of cooling feeling to it. It has some thickness without it being, I don't know, there's two kinds of thick. There's like a jelly kind of thick that just coats your lips and feels nice. And then there's just like thick and gross where it's kind of hard to spread. It's not that. It's definitely like a nice jelly hydrating feeling. I really, really love it. I would buy it again, actually. Even though I have other lip treatments and stuff that I will need to get through first. Okay, um, oh, this is just an empty box. So put that over there. Um, this goes in my empties also. This was a travel deodorant, the Dove powder. I actually liked this one a lot, which is why I thought about switching deodorants. Okay, um, this is the Sunday Riley Good Jeans All-in-One uh, Lactic Acid Treatment. I'm waiting to use this once I am all done with, uh, which was it? Oh yeah, the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow. So I haven't used this one yet, but I'm excited to try it out. Uh, okay, this is my backup um, kind of like uh, cleansing balm, cleansing cream, sort of a thing. Uh, this is the Elemis Superfood AHA Glow Cleansing Butter. It has a little bit of a different texture. I used it once because for some reason, I think I had my cleansing balm in the other bathroom and I just like dipped into this one. Uh, let me open it up. I only used it once, you can see. It almost looks like something you eat, like a mango, um, dessert of some kind and it does smell pretty nice but more like a I don't know like a fresh soapy scent uh, I almost wish it was some kind of tropical scent but yeah this is on the standby for when I finally use up that farm um, derma e cleansing oil. I'm not sure if I'll love this one as much because the cleansing butter definitely, um, I don't know, the one time I used it, I felt like I had to work a little bit harder to get like mascara off of my face and stuff, but we shall see. I haven't given it enough of a try yet. All right, this is my backup cleanser once I use up those um, two and this is the Pharmacy Whipped Greens Oil-Free Foaming Cleanser. Open it up. This is what uh, it looks like. The tube, it pretty much has the same tube as that um, Skin & Co Face Formage, or whatever it's called, Fomage, Gomage. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm excited since I do love, um, pharmacy products. So I'll have to let you know once I do try it, what I think. 
what I have left here. This is, um, again, this is a backup of for when I finish um, my other eye cream. This is the Mud Masky um, Vitamin Infused Eye Serum. It says that it reduces dark circles. I've stopped believing that, but I don't know, something about that claim since I have really dark hereditary dark circles, uh, just, it always gets me. So I'm actually excited to try this one once I use up the pharmacy one. So um, the only thing left here, this is a container. What this actually has in it is um, the Arctic Fox Wrath, um, like demi permanent hair color mixed with another one. I don't remember what the other one is. It was the other red uh, that they have. This is the mixture that is in here. I have a little bit left. I just put it in a container because I didn't want to, you know, it doesn't go bad because it's a demi permanent color. So that I'm just waiting to use it up on my hair. And that is it for this basket, but we still have another basket, like two more baskets. So give me a second. We're going to uh, kind of resituate things here and then we'll keep going. All right, here we are with the next basket. This is mostly body and hair kind of a situation. So we're gonna go ahead and start. This is the Nature Lab Tokyo um, Perfect Repair Shampoo. I also have the other bottle, uh, which is the conditioner. And here I have this pack. So the whole thing with these is that they are refillable. You buy the bottle, you know, like you buy the product, but every other time you go ahead and you buy the refill, it's supposed to um, be more environmentally friendly because you aren't um, using so much plastic by buying, you know, multiple uh, bottles instead. So I have enjoyed that aspect of it. Um, and the actual product itself, it is nice. I find that right now it isn't nourishing enough, which is not supposed to be like a hydrating curl shampoo and conditioner anyways. So um, they're lightweight and I would recommend using them if you're in the um, market for kind of like a lightweight color protectant um, repair kind of shampoo and conditioner. They are nice um, uh, for your hair, but uh, it's just not what I'm needing right now. So I'm using these up and then I'm going to store the bottles in case I want to get refills again. So those are going to just sit there for now. Um, this actually isn't mine. It's my husband's. It's his beard wash from Billy Jealousy. Um, if you are use if you are watching and you are looking for a beard wash, this is a nice one apparently, according to him. Moving on from that, um, okay. Right here I have this Pacifica Rosemary Purify um, Invigorating Shampoo. I also, I mean, this is the conditioner, this is the shampoo. Um, I'm actually currently, these are supposed to be in my um, like tub shower situation over there. Uh, I don't use these every time that I wash my hair. Uh, I use these like once a week or once every two weeks because it they feel super nice on the scalp and they kind of like help um, get off any kind of gunk or not gunk that sounds awful um build up <laughs> you might have in your hair and they feel super minty and it smells so nice like just well like rosemary and mint is mostly what it smells like so i do recommend these i do um enjoy pacifica products at least the ones that i've tried so far and i do um i do recommend them and i like their kind of recycling program where you can send them uh, like your used bottles when you have a certain amount and they'll recycle them. That's something that I really enjoy. Okay, something that I am going to declutter. This is the Ren Pure Apple Cider Vinegar Clarify and Shine Scalp Scrub. I'll open it up. Um, 
I've used some of it, obviously you can see. I've just realized that I don't really like scalp scrubs. Like I used to really um, like trying different ones because I felt like they were necessary for me. I have uh, dry scalp, so sometimes I will get um, dry flakes, like dry flaking because of that. And um, for a while I was like, oh, I just need a scalp scrub and that's gonna help so much. But it, all it really did was irritate my sensitive scalp. So I found that other things like um, treatment oils, like um, certain shampoos and conditioners, stuff like that work a lot better for me than using scrubs. Uh, so I'm probably gonna see if my mom or my sisters want to try it out. So that is getting decluttered. All right, cool, moving on. This is actually, I have two of these. These are my current um, body lotions. These are the Dr. Teal's um, sleep lotion. Um, this is actually like chamomile and lavender. They smell so nice and relaxing. Uh, they are nice and nourishing on my skin. They sink in pretty easily. Uh, I have no bad things to say about them and the whole thing started because of this product here um, This is the dr. Teal's. It's the same scent and everything, but it's the um, a Bubble bath that they have and the smell every time I used it I just found it so relaxing and as someone who deals with anxiety and stuff like that. Anytime that I can have like relaxing scents around me, they aren't like a cure-all or something like that, but it just helps my body kind of detense a little bit. And I just enjoy the way that it smells. So um, keeping these two, cause I have the one that I'm using and then my backup. And then this, I, I don't know if you can see, but there's almost nothing left in there. Probably one more use and then it's getting thrown into my empties. And same, <laughs> same scent and everything, but this is the body wash. Again, I'm almost done with it. You can see Ulta's currently having like a two for 10. So I might go ahead and um, buy the backup, even though I know somewhere in here I have like another body wash. Um, okay, this is the M Green Grass, like, dry spray oil what i use this for <laughs> is when i'm too lazy to use body lotion basically when i'm like i want to spend like half a second rubbing like a dry oil in that will instantly dry instead of you know working in the body lotion for like 10 seconds and that sounds so lazy, but you know, sometimes you want to put leggings on after your shower and you don't want that like moisturized, damp skin feel, keeping the leggings from just sliding on. I don't know, you guys. That's what I've been using for. You can use it for like body and hair, um, all that kind of stuff, but I mostly use it uh, for that. It has like a kind of herbly scent. This is Grease, inspired by Grease. This is Beach Air. And um, I don't find it smells like beach air, but it does smell like herbal, which is nice. Okay, this is a backup deodorant. Maybe I should just stop buying backups. Um, okay, this is the um, Not Your Mother's Matcha Green Tea and Wild Apple Blossom Nourishing Nutrient Rich Conditioner. Um, this is actually a very nice conditioner. It smells so good. You know what it is? I think it's <laughs> like a nice conditioner, like normal, but it smells so good that I'm like, oh, it's amazing. Uh, so if you go and you smell it and you want to try it out, it actually is nice. And I would repurchase it again, to be honest. Um, am I a little biased because I love the scent? Probably. But I also like a lot of um, products from Not Your Mother's. So can't go wrong. Yeah, I probably have like this much left like over here. So I'm almost done. A product that I didn't love. This is from Pacifica. This is the Coconut Cream Body Wash. Um, I think more than anything, I didn't like the scent. I didn't like the scent. It doesn't really smell like coconut. It smells more like, I guess like a, like a fake pina colada. 
I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what it smells like to me. And I've almost used it up, to be honest. I have probably this much left over here. Uh, I've kind of been keeping it as a like, oh, maybe if I run out of body wash, this will be like emergency backup body wash. I don't know. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to get rid of it, you guys, honestly. I mean, I'm going to I'm going to keep it um, in my empties or whatever so that I can empty it out and recycle the bottle. But yeah, I'm going to declutter this. The, the wash itself, apart from the scent, uh, is fine uh, if you need like more of a moisturizing body wash. It, it does work for that, but I just didn't feel like it got me cl as clean as I wanted to be, if that makes sense. Okay, uh, this is the Tree Hut Tahitian Vanilla Bean um, Body Scrub. I love Tetra body scrubs. Definitely uh, recommend. Tree Hut, what did I say? It doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, definitely recommend these, I love them. I started using them because of Jessica Braun here on YouTube. She's amazing. And I love all of her recommendations. This uh, actually isn't mine, it's my husband's. It's a CBD moisturizing shampoo that he really likes. What is the brand? Um, Cebu, 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 who knows? But yeah, <laughs> if, in case you wanted to know, he likes it. He says it's like tingly and minty for whatever reason. Um, this poor beat up bottle. This is uh, from Kara Therapy. This is their deep conditioning mask. I've been enjoying it. I really like um, deep conditioning masks. This one has probably one use left and then it's um, getting thrown in my empties. But it is nice. It's um, nourishing. It smells good. What more can you want? Will I be purchasing this? Probably not because I have other um, more easily accessible hair masks that I enjoy, but it's, it's been nice using it. Okay, this Perfect Repair. I don't even know what this is. It says it's a leave-in treatment, color safe and paraben free from Nature Lab Tokyo. I've used a lot of it. As you can see, I don't even know what it does, you guys. Like, I don't feel any kind of difference in my hair when I use it, like, at all. Um, I guess, it, I mean, it smells nice. Um, sometimes when I had, like, frizz or, like, flyaways, I would put it on just to kind of defrizz a little bit. But that's pretty much it. That's, like, all I've ever used it for. I've tried to use it like a mousse, I've tried to use it like a leave-in conditioner, it just doesn't do much of anything. So, yeah, I'm gonna see if my mom wants to use the rest of it, cause it's done nothing for me, so decluttering that. Okay, this is um Smith French Dublin Fresh Green Leaves Aromatic Hand Wash. As you can see, I haven't even opened it. It's in its packaging. So yeah, this actually has to go to a different section with hand washes and stuff. All right, what is this? Um, okay, another thing from Mud Masky. This is the Hair Mask Scalp Treatment and Miracle Shampoo. Um, since I do have like scalp issues, I am interested in trying this out. I'm gonna set it to the side, see how I feel afterwards. Um, this is the Hot Toddy uh, blah, 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 uh, heat protectant spray from Dry Bar. This is the only heat protectant I currently have, but it is a nice one. Um, it has a nice mist on it. I've enjoyed it so far. Okay, this one here, um, this body gel is the backup that I have. I didn't, at first I was like, I don't even know what this product is. I got it in a boxy charm at some point. Um, but apparently it's a body wash. So um, it's gonna be you, what I use now that I um, use up that Dr. Teal's. So we will see, I'll let you guys know if it's any good. What else do we have in here? Um, Reza Be Obsessed. 
sea spray vacation in a bottle for all hair types. Um, yeah, I'm going to give this to my mom or my sisters, somebody. It's getting decluttered, basically, uh, because, I mean, it, it's basically um, a sea salt spray, but my hair is really short right now, and when it's not short, I have curly hair, so that's not the kind of product that I enjoy using very often. Um, this is a single-use Epsom salt, like a lavender um, Epsom salt bag. My husband got it for me along with some other goodies um, when it was that time of the month. So uh, I haven't used it yet. It smells nice. So I'm going to set that aside. I have to put it like closer to my bath, um, bath products and stuff like that. We only have a couple of things left in here because these are like hair clips that my mom got me and now my hair's short. So, and this is like a shaver and my the uh, charging dock or whatever but I don't use that one anymore so I I don't know what I'll do with that one but anyways um this is the not your mother's curl talk scalp and scalp care cleansing oil this one actually works wonders on my scalp when I have like my dry flaking because of my scalp um is acting up this one just helps clear it right up it is so nice it has this nozzle here you can see it and you kind of like have to squeeze it while massaging it in with the with the tip there it is so good if you deal with any kind of issue like that i would definitely definitely recommend going out and try it the curl talk line as a whole um i've enjoyed so far you're probably going to see a few products um coming up so definitely keeping as you can see this basket is basically empty i have one more product right here then what we're going to do is i don't know if you can see i have this basket down here i'm going to move the stuff from this basket up here because it's just going to be easier for me to film it but um, what is here is actually the Moroccan oil um, protect and prevent spray for color treated hair. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be like anti UV pollution and all that kind of stuff. So it's um, like a leave in, like a lightweight leave in conditioner. Uh, I haven't used it yet. It's still brand new, so I'm going to keep it around. Okay, we're going to take a little interlude, moving everything over, and we'll be right back. Okay, and we are back. Um, so, so, you can see right up front we have these. These are the Pantene um, Defining Mousse for Curls. It says maximum hold. It does have pretty good hold, and these smell pretty nice for the most part. Right now, I'm not using mousse, so these are more gonna be just put away um, for whenever like I grow my hair out, I guess. Again, whenever that ends up being. I'm kind of enjoying the uh, short hair life at the moment, um, but I do have these. If you have curly hair, um, I don't know if these would be the first thing that I recommend, but they are nice. My hair was, oops, I'm sorry about that. Um, my hair was looked nice when I used them, um, but I know that Pantene isn't always the best. So what I had actually moved on to is this Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Curl Activating Mousse. And this one is very nice. Uh, it doesn't have as much hold though as something like the Pantene. Um, other mousse, mousses, mousse, well, whatever. Other ones that I enjoy, um, uh, Shea Moisture has one that is nice. Um, I've wanted to try, what's it called? Like Pattern, that new, like hair, um, curly hair line. They carry it um, at Ulta. Yeah, I've, I've been wanting to try theirs. There's others, maybe I should make a video about it, but 
the one that I have is just this little bottle of the Curl Talk. Obviously keeping, but it's sort of set aside because my hair is currently short, so I haven't really been using something like a mousse. All right, this is the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak uh, Refreshing Dry Shampoo. It is fine. I didn't, I honestly didn't find that it did much of anything, if I'm being honest. Um, and I'm not really using dry shampoo right now, so I'm going to get rid of that. Decluttered. Okay. I think this is my last Dr. Dr. Brandt um, product. <laughs> I don't know what happened to it here. I've tried to wash it off, but it came like that. Okay, this is a Dr. Brandt Clean Biotic. Um, it's just a cleanser. It's a pH balanced yogurt cleanser. Um, it is nice and gentle. It is kind of like the CeraVe. That is what I can most um, compare it to. So while it is pretty nice, um, you might as well pay less and get the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser because they're pretty much the same thing. This one is a tad bit um, thicker, but that is pretty much it. Like my skin feels the same afterwards as that, um, but I only have about this much left, so I'm going to put it to the side and use it up. Okay, this is my backup moisturizer at the moment. This Murad um, City Skin Overnight Detox Moisturizer. I've never tried any Murad products, so I'm excited to check this one out. Um, yeah, obviously I have no thoughts on it because I haven't used it yet, but we shall see. All right, um, this is the Four Sigmatic Superfood Face Mask um, Purify, whatever it is. This was so weird. At first I was like, I don't understand what this is um, because there are these little packs, right? Individual, but they tell you that it's like, um, like edible they're like oh this is edible and it smells and tastes like brownie mix and they talk about how it's like cocoa like it has cocoa powder and stuff like that um so and it just says it doesn't say it says it's a mask but then it says it's a dietary supplement um yeah you see it's like flavor chocolate and brownie uh so you can uh I don't know. Anyways, you mix, you mix the packet with water, you put it on your face. Why it's called a dietary supplement, I do not understand. I guess because you can technically eat it? I don't know. Anyways, I'm setting it aside to try it, um, but it is kind of weird. I don't know. Either way, um, this is a vitamin C mask. It's from Georgette Klinger. I had never heard of the brand before. Um, I think I might give this to my sister or I don't know. I'm going to think about it. Give me a second. <laughs> I'm going to set this aside for a minute. Okay, this is the Tula um, So Poreless Deep Exfoliating Blackhead Scrub. Uh, I've never tried anything from Tula. I want to, but I don't think this one is going to be it. Probiotics and superfood. I don't know why I thought that I would like this, but either way, I'm gonna declutter it, but I think I'm gonna give it to my husband. I think he would like it. I currently have him trying out a new skincare. Um, he's trying out some, cause he never was into skincare before, but I thought I would get him into a routine. He's trying out some La Roche-Posay products. Um, and so far so good. Okay, this is the Avant Hyaluronic Lacted Vitamin B3 some, some, some. It's a replenishing lip serum, basically. So, if you open it up, it's like a thick kind of gel and it has um, like a lip wand situation. I tried it once and... It was kind of thick, but not a great kind of thick. I don't know if you can see. 
Actually, now that feels nice on my skin. Uh, I was gonna get rid of it, but <laughs> now I wanna keep it. I think I'm gonna keep it, try it out. I might throw it like in my purse or something. So I remember to use it or my purse, not my purse. Um, like my, I have a like acrylic organizer next to my bed. Um, and that's where I put like night lip balms and stuff. So I'm probably gonna throw it over there. Okay, these are two um, goggle eye masks um, from Vitamask. And yeah, these are single use, one for morning, one for evening. I'm just gonna put this in like my daily uh, basket over there for skincare and going to use them up. All right. Okay, these are more eye masks. This is from Skin Camp Magic Eyes Collagen Hydrogel Eye Mask. It comes with five of them. Again, I'm going to use these up. Actually, you know what? I think, let me take a look. So I have these Brighten and Protect, Repair and Relax. Hmm. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is, yeah, okay, one second. Okay, yeah, I decided to keep them. I was thinking I might, I might give the pack or take the pack with me, like the pack of five with me when I go to my mom's house so that we can all kind of like do little under eye masks. So um, I am keeping the pack of them, but I'm gonna take them with me to my mom's house. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, this is the Symbiosis um, Hyaluronic Acid Tightening and Replant resplendent eye mask um, because I'm already keeping an eye cream and I have another one that I'm using up. I'm actually going to give this one to my mom. So I'm gonna set it aside for her. Okay, this is a Derma E purifying two-in-one charcoal mask with activated charcoal. Uh, this was actually gifted to me by my sister and I don't really use it if I'm going to be honest. So I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. I don't really do charcoal masks very often. Um, okay. This is the Wonder Beauty Lift Off Purifying and Brightening Peel Off Face Mask. It always hurts every time you use it. Uh, there's no real benefit to it. So I'm going to declutter that. And is this the last product? I believe it is. Okay, this is the Elemis Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. Um, I've only used this once or twice. It was nice, but again, I don't have conclusive thoughts because I haven't used it enough. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this. And oh, I forgot that I set aside this Vitamin C Mask. Let me go ahead and open it. I haven't even opened it like taking it out of the box. Oh, okay, I was not expecting it to be this kind of product. Um, I think I might keep this. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. Or, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to my sister. I'm gonna declutter it because I have other face masks that I like, so why am I gonna keep that? Um, and actually, this, uh, whatever it is, the Hyaluronic Acid Replenishing Lip Serum, I'm actually gonna go ahead and give it to my sister. So I'm decluttering that as well. So we're pretty much done. I'm gonna go through, I'm going to sort things out and come back to see if like how much we've gotten rid of i know it hasn't been a ton because a lot of the stuff is kind of like i'm either using it or the ba it's the backup to something that i'm using uh so we shall see all right so this is the basket of what i'm getting rid of um i got rid of 15 products which might not seem like a lot um 
but I consider it a win because a lot of the things that I am keeping, they are close to being done and um, the other things are backups for the most part. So it's not like I have a ton of extra things that are just lying around that I'm not going to be using up. I just wanted to give a better home or throw away the things that were either empty, that I wasn't going to use, or um, that someone else could get better use out of. Uh, I did forget that I had set this aside, the um, scalp treatment, and I decided to keep it since I do um, struggle a lot with scalp issues um and if that ends up being good then uh you know that'll be great it'll be something else that i can count on so yeah thank you guys uh so much for joining me here um i've had a lot of fun doing this decluttering series i know this is a very long video it's gonna be probably over an hour uh, which is something that I enjoy. I really enjoy super long um, declutters and collection videos, but I know not everyone does. But if you did, thank you for sticking around. Uh, yeah, if you like, subscribe, like, stay tuned for more videos. I'm obviously going to be done with this declutter series. I think this one is going to be the last video of it to go up. And from there, we're gonna go on to other regular content. Oh, something that I forgot to mention. I have it over here. It's the Dr. Teal's Soothe & Sleep Lavender Epsom Salt. If you're in the uh, market for Epsom Salt and you like lavender, that is my favorite, uh, my favorite kind. But yeah, anyways, I hope you're having a really great day. Thank you for joining me. And until uh, next time, bye.